Rebels, welcome back to my channel. Let's go ahead and get straight into your reading. Of course, any information that you may be looking for will be listed in the description, so just check there. And let's jump in. So what I was getting when I was meditating on your energy, I was getting this sense of like things starting to add up, like where you may have been blind to certain things about certain people or certain situations. It's like things start to become real clear um, and things start to kind of like manifest in the nick of time, essentially. It feels like what a synchronicity, what a coincidence, right? That's what I keep hearing. What a coincidence. Something happens... Something happens during this time frame that's like, it, it just starts to all make sense. I don't know who, what it is, but that's one of the messages I was getting during meditation. Now, another thing I was kind of getting in meditation, um, there's something here also that may kind of spank you on your behind a little bit, um, trigger you. And I don't mean trigger in a bad way. Um, trigger just means that you're finally getting the signal. You're finally getting it um, in regards to something. So it's like you guys are going to be triggered to like either start on something that you've been procrastinating on or do something that you guys have not done that's been the catalyst of a lot of issues in your life. Okay, this could be as simple as you moving because your roommate is leaving dishes around the house. Or this could be as simple as like your job, your boss starts to try to cut your hours or something and you're like, hell no, I need my hours. And then you start looking for a better paying job and a job that's going to deliver you um, the amount of hours that you may be needing. It is something here that's going to like really put the last straw on the camel's back and this is going to be something that pushes you to make that change that you needed to make a long time ago where you may have been just kind of waiting until it was just no other choice um hmm Speaking of triggered, um, there are somebody who's like really pissed at you and they could be like doing little things to kind of get back at you because they're bitter. This could be the person you may have children with. Um, this could be an ex-husband, an ex-wife, a family member. I don't know who this is, but... Um, Protect your energy. Hashtag protect your energy in regards to that. Okay. Um, but I see a lot of personal growth. A lot of you are going to realize that about yourself. Like there's going to be a situation that's going to come up where it may kind of test your patience or kind of test you in a way. And you're going to notice that you've really grown because your response to how you may handle it may be a lot different than way, the way that you may have handled it in the past, if that makes any sense. Um, so that's really positive. A lot of you also, things that you may have subscribed to before, you're really not feeling it anymore. It just feels like mm, that doesn't really vibe with me anymore. I don't really connect to those things anymore. And I think I kind of said this in the last reading as well. It, it's nothing wrong with you. It just means that you're evolving. So if you do find yourself not being interested in certain things or kind of drawn away from certain things, it's okay. It just means that you're evolving beyond it. So, hmm. Some of you may also be debating on whether or not you should forgive somebody who has wronged you and has put you through some things. And... You may be really racking your brain on whether or not you can trust this individual. A piece of you may feel like you need some time to really figure out if you will take this person back. So that may be on your mind as well. But let's go ahead and flip the camera and see what the cards have to say. And of course, if you want a reading, you want to join my Patreon community where you guys can get exclusive content from me and all that jazz, that will be below. And let's go ahead and see what the cards have to say. Virgos, let's go ahead and jump in. Got cards falling on the floor already. What are the messages my Virgos need to hear at the moment? Mm. 
Mm. So we have a consciousness of lack. And as this card depicts, this is the energy of thinking that the things that you desire are outside of self when that's not necessarily true um when you tap into understanding that you are the things that you're trying to attract you allow them to flow to you a lot easier and a lot of you your self-esteem has definitely been beat up by the people that you've entertained by the things that you've given energy to and it hasn't necessarily fulfilled you so now you think that i don't know you're unlucky in some way or some form but at this point, spirit is trying to give you everything that you desire. It's just a matter of like, where is your thought process at? Where is your belief system in regards to what's capable for you? And do you believe that you don't deserve those things subconsciously? Because that could be something that's happening that's more so energetically repelling things away from you. And you may not even be aware of it. I also have a fragmented energy. So, okay, so while you've been gone, and this can go vice versa, so take this reading out of applies. Um, while you've been gone or while someone else has been gone, there's this energy of like a piece of you being missing from their lives or a piece of them being missing from your lives is like affecting you in an emotional way. And it could be even a mirroring situation where it's like, if you and this person have been in each other's lives for a long period of time, it's like having to readjust without having you there or having to readjust their lives to kind of fit the empty space that kind of left when you left. And like I said, this could be vice versa. But Spirit is saying um, now you guys get a chance to really get in tune with self and find your missing pieces <laughs> outside of being connected to someone else and a lot of you are going to feel a lot more whole after going through this personal self journey you know and understand that yeah it's hard initially but you guys are definitely going to make it through this is not anything where you guys are going to remain in this energy of being stuck or feeling as if you're empty unless you allow yourself to stay in that space for however long but we also have transformation that showed up here and yeah this has changed this is something around you that's going to go from one state of being into another and for a lot of you this could be transformation in regards to your financial situation where you may have been struggling at one point a lot of you may come up within this year as a whole maybe not just in this time frame i, I see that this is beyond this time frame but a lot of you are in the midst of change of making more money in your near future, uh, I'm seeing a location change or relocation here. I'm seeing job changes. Like, I just see positive shifts that are coming your way. Nothing negative. You guys have already went through the bad. Virgos, what's the energy around them? What messages do they need to hear? For some of my Virgos who are on like a weight loss journey, you may be seeing some sort of progress in your body. You could be seeing things change in your physical appearance. Or some of you could be wanting to change things about your physical appearance, like your hair, your nail color, maybe the nail shape that you usually do, you want to switch it up. Maybe you want to grab um, a new set of jewelry or clothing or something to that effect. Let's keep going. So we have the Justice card here. Hold on, let me, there we go. So yeah, there may be some sort of karma sent out to someone who may be um, like a karmic ex or like somebody who you may have dated who may have wronged you. Spirit is saying, look, while you may be concerned about whether or not this person's going to receive karma for the things that they've done, Spirit wants you to take your focus off of that because they will get their fair share of karma in their own way and understand that karma doesn't just work in a negative sense it works in a good sense as well so make sure you're not trying to be the person to enforce karma 
because then you could in turn get yourself caught up into a trick bag. But um, yeah, Spirit is saying this person is going to get their fair share of karma when it's due. Also, I see where some of you may be going through like some legal stuff and you could be like fighting, fighting? You could be fighting for custody. You could be suing somebody, like something with court. I do see a fair outcome happening. Not saying that you're just going to win, but I'm seeing that there's going to be a level of fairness. And that's going to be very different for each and every one of you guys' situation. Let's keep going. I also have the chariot as well as the hangman. So, yes, I see progression. I see forward movement. Um, but, again, it's going back into that hangman, lack of consciousness energy. This is needing to shift your perspective because whenever the hangman comes up, this is enlightenment, yes, but you're not seeing things from a perspective that sets you free. You're not seeing things from a perspective that takes away the limitations that you may be experiencing. And a lot of you could be thinking that it's the universe implementing all these different blockages in your life when it could be just your energy. <laughs> Let's just be honest. Sometimes it's not the universe blocking anything for us. It's just our mindset. Some of you are also going to be moving forward from a relationship that was put on pause either randomly where this person ghosted you or where you guys broke up and you still haven't spoken to this person. A lot of you are just going to start to mentally move forward after realizing that maybe that cycle is pretty much done. It's, it's wrapped up here. But this is what I see. I am going to stop the reading here. I wish you the best of luck. Any information you need, you know where to find it. And I will see you later.